What is up? It's Mike, the golf card collector here, host of the Funneling Cardboard podcast and admin for the Golf Cards and Memorabilia Facebook group. This is part two of the Ship My Cards uh, reveal. This is all the cards that have returned to me from Ship My Cards, which is a service in the United States. They're basically my US shipping address. So my cards compile, pile up there. And then once I've got enough and it makes sense to ship them back home, then I they load them up for me and ship it all in one package. Of course, as you can see from this giant pile of cards, I waited pretty long for my latest shipment, and I'm pretty excited to own all of these cards, and add them into my various lanes of my collection. But first, I wanted to go through an overview of all the different categories of cards and kind of give a little story about each one. Uh, last episode in part one, we went through all the hockey cards. You'll notice there's a UFC fighter here. I'm actually going to add that at the end in a miscellaneous uh, grouping. But today, we're going to be talking about basketball. So if you're here for the golf, uh, I'll be getting that in the next part. So without further ado, my favorite player is Mr. Steve Nash. This is an awesome, awesome die cut card. Uh, you can tell that there's this kind of like gray silver bordering behind it, which makes it not look like a die cut card. But in fact, that is actually something unique. I've put two cards within one <laughs> sleeve here. That is actually a printing plate. That's the printing plate used to make this card super cool to combine them uh, and i think it's kind of fun to put them in a single package like that uh, to have them kind of mirroring each other um, the actual die cut card one of the reasons i love this card so much so it's it's pretty short printed it's serial numbered out of 25. i love the way it looks steve has a very unusual pose for him kind of diving to the hoop i, I don't know exactly what he's doing there whether it's like a finger roll or something but i just think it's super cool um, I'm not a fan usually of Steve Nash and the Lakers jerseys, but this one can be an exception. Um, and yeah, and, and another reason I really like this card is that this image, as far as I'm aware, doesn't really appear on any other cards. Like maybe there's a base card or something that I'm not familiar with um, that Spectra printed, or maybe this is an insert Spectra series in a different product, but um, I haven't seen this image on any other cards, only this short printed out of 25's die cut. So pretty happy to own that one. All right, next up we have an orange Steve Nash. This is the 1957 uh, variation of, I think, 2007 Topps Chrome. The orange is serial numbered out of 199. Uh, super cool card. Really excited. I actually put it into this card saver because it appeared to be in gem mint condition, so I might actually consider getting that one graded. Moving on, another Steve Nash. I believe this is from the same year, 2007 Topps Chrome. I love it because it's white. And um, the, normally the 2007 Topps Chrome set, it has like a silver color. Um, 2008 Topps Chrome is my favorite set and uh, the base cards from 2008 are, are white. So I, I like having the 2008 uh, Topps Chrome cards, which are refractors or X-fractors or whatever, and they're white. And then to be able to get this variation from 2007, which matches the appearance, is just kind of cool. So I like kind of pairing my cards up, uh, lumping them into categories that makes them a little bit more sticky in the collection. And the white variation just happens to be serial numbered out of 99. So that makes it a little extra special too. All right, now I got these three, one, two, three, four Steve Nash kind of base cards. They're not base cards, but they're not you know valuable variations. They look cool, uh, but somebody threw those in in a deal when I got a Steve Nash, very, very high-end Steve Nash card, actually. Um, I'm not going to reveal that card yet because uh, the same seller and I, immediately after making a deal uh, that he threw these cards into, made an even much bigger deal. And those cards were just shipped today. I should have them within a few days. And the first card that I bought from that seller, I'll reveal at the same time as that other batch. Uh, next up, oh, this is a terrible card. So, oh, all right. Lesson, public service announcement. Be careful when you come across listings, when you are dazed and confused and overtired and don't make dumb decisions. So I came across this Sean Williams 2008 Topps Chrome uh, X-Fractor. And actually, if I were to pull that next to the Steve Nash, you can see, see other sort of similar stylings. I mean, it's obviously different. The border and everything looks a lot different, but it's the same kind of styling. And that's why I wanted this Steve Nash is so that it matches with my 2008 Topps Chrome cards from the set. So anyways, I came across this listing while I was walking my dog late at night. I was super tired, long day of work, uh, long day with the kids. And then um, when I came across the listing, I thought it was a super fractor. I, I don't know what the heck was going on in my head. So I sent the seller an offer for like $28 American or something ridiculous thinking if I could get a, you know, any 2008 
Topps Chrome Super Fractors, you know, 28 bucks would be a great deal. You offer, uh, the seller instantly accepted. I'm like, oh, that was a surprise. Cool. I guess I own a Super Fractor. Then I looked at the listing and realized it's an X Fractor, which is not a one of one, but instead an out of 288. Uh, and I immediately, <laughs> I contacted the seller and said, hey, like, I, you know, I, I sent an offer, like, you know, if you want to hold me to it, fair enough. Like I'm willing to eat the bullet. Like the card, it's a $1 card, maybe a $2 card. Um, I said, my bad. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought it was a super fractor. Is there anything you'd be willing to do? And the seller was actually nice enough. He said, you know what? Um, uh, shipping remains the same amount, but I'm willing to drop it down to $5 and then save yourself $23 for that mistake. Seller still got more than double what they were expecting. And uh, I really greatly appreciated it. So Live and learn. Uh, one of my lessons as well is to just be polite when you're interacting with others and be willing to own your mistake. I honored it and said, you know what, if you want me to pay $28, I won't be happy, but I'll do it because I made an offer. Um, and he was a good guy. Uh, next up, this is a really cool card from Leaf. Uh, I put it in the basketball category because Barack Obama is holding a couple of basketballs. And this is serial numbered out of 199. Um, I'm just a fanatic for gold. I just love the goldness. Uh, I pulled in a Barack Obama rookie card where he's shooting a, a three-pointer uh, back in 2008 from the flagship paper product. That card is actually a very valuable card, and I graded it, got a PSA 10. So I just thought it would be fun to kind of get a gold version of Obama playing basketball. Next up, now, J.R. Smith, I debated having this in my basketball collection or if this belongs in my golf collection. Uh, ultimately, uh, it's in the basketball collection because it's a basketball card, but J.R. Smith uh, was a professional basketball player and he ended up playing college golf. So I believe he's still actually playing on, on a collegiate golf team. I forget which one. Maybe it's like Stanford or something like that. Um, I really like these black parallels. So you can see that's a serial number out of 51. It's because this was the 51st anniversary of something special, maybe 51 years of collecting. So that must be the anniversary for Tops. Um, I really love these black I don't know how you describe it. It's like a matte bed liner kind of <laughs> texture to it. They're in very, typically very rough condition. The edges are very, um, actually funny enough, here comes a precious metal gems. Uh, precious metal gems and this 51st black variation of tops um, are both known for very poor condition edges. So a uh, cool J.R. Smith card. That's kind of a carryover between my golf and my basketball collection. Here is my favorite basketball player, Steve Nash. Again, this is the red precious metal gems. Of course, it's not the 97 rookie PMG that's worth, gosh, tens of thousands of dollars. Instead, this is the 2013, and he's not wearing a Suns uniform. He's wearing Santa Clara, which is his college. This is numbered out of 150. Other than being in his college uniform and you know not being from the OG set in 97, it has all the same kind of stylings, the same border, the same logos, the same precious metal gems font. Uh, same styling, same condition. PMGs can be rough. Um, same back imagery, which I love. Kind of that machinery, spaceship kind of design. So for those of you who aren't familiar with PMGs, I'm a big PMG collector for golf. And I like PMGs as well for basketball and hockey whenever I can get them for my favorite players. Another Steve Nash card. I just got this one because it was very unique. I mean, it's gold. So it's a gold parallel out of uh, 99, I believe. Yeah, there it is at the bottom. Um, I thought it was cool because it's gold. It's certain number out of 99. I could get it for a good price. Um, and it's it's got him in a, in a jersey. It looks like he's like in this playing for the 76ers or Philadelphia or whatever. It, but it's a, it says Phoenix. So very unique Phoenix Suns jersey with my guy, Steve Nash. Here's another Steve Nash card. This is as uh, as as Mike Lacusta as it gets from the Steve Nash collection for several reasons. One, Steve Nash, obviously, Suns jersey, love it. Uh, on the back, this is the gold ver gold parallel out of twenty five. Somebody I was talking to, another Steve Nash collector, said this was the yellow uh, parallel. I find it unlikely that they would put you know that kind of color and call it yellow instead of gold, but. I don't know. We'll see. I'll look at the checklist. But the other thing is that the Canadian flag in the background is a big deal for me. I have a lane within my, or let's call it a branch of my Steve Nash collecting lane. And that branch is all Canada themed cards. So this is supposedly, you know, Steve Nash's Canadian passport. It's the theme of that card. Uh, that combined with low pop, serial number 25, basically as, as good as it gets for me. 
Uh, and also as good as it gets. I absolutely love this card to the point I've actually bought two of them. I've got one uh, which arrived at Ship My Cards after this shipment was shipped. Uh, but this is uh, 2023 Elite. And I love, love, love this styling. It's got a Super Fractor Circles. You can see them when I kind of spin them like that. And this is out of 25, so it's a little pop. I love black. I love the color black on this simplistic style of cards. It's just very elegant. looks very clean. Um, and Elite came out with this, this styling of card a couple years ago. And I really wanted a card. I wanted a card uh, to represent that product in my collection because I stumbled across a collector on Instagram who was all about that collection. He was uh, collecting all of the aspirations and which is like the red version of this card and it's a die cut. There's also a green version of the card that's a uh, die cut. And uh, the serial numbers are weird. So the red or the green is serial numbered out of the player's jersey number. So a Steve Nash, for instance, he wears 13. So the green would be serial numbered out of 13. And then the red, the aspirations, would be serial numbered out of 100 minus that number. So whatever the difference is. So the red Steve Nash would be out of 87. The green would be out of 13. They combine to make 100. Uh, so somebody who wears like a number one, for instance, their green version would be a one of one. And the red version would be out of 99 and so on. So uh long-winded story about how much i love that card and uh, oh and they only so they they only had active players when this was first released i was kind of bummed i was trying to pick up a curry but the curry ones were all so expensive uh i ended up picking a kevin durant and it was the red version uh, i was kind of I, I honestly it was he was wearing a brooklyn's jersey i wasn't a big fan of it in the end so i'm super happy that in a later year they decided to print vets and uh, when i came across that steve nash i had to have it a base card, Steve Nash, uh, Topps for Scene 2004, uh, just worth a buck or two. Um, there it is, actually. That's from the same set, the 2021. Uh, so this is the one. So I did end up actually getting somebody other than Kevin Durant. So Fred Van Lee has a kind of a special spot in my heart, um, being kind of the point guard for the Raptors when they won uh, their championship. And he's wearing his Raptors uniform here. I would have preferred if it was wearing the red uniform because then, you know, it's more recognizable. But there's also something to be said about uh, having a player on the team that you want them in, but wearing kind of a unique jersey. Um, and so if I had a whole Fred Van Vliet collection, I probably would have liked this more, having him in a, in a unique looking jersey. Uh, but, but being my only Fred Van Vliet card, I would have preferred him in the more red or white or black uh, Raptors jersey, but it is what it is. All right, Steve Nash, kind of a base looking card, just looks cool and it's got that Canada flag in the background, so I had to have it. Uh, another Steve Nash, this one is out of 99, I believe. Yep, I uh, bought it just because it looks cool. All right, this one's an amazing looking card. This one showed up on Com C and I hit buy it now the moment it arrived because this price was like $27, something like that. And uh, it's serial numbered out of 24. Um, yeah, I, I love everything about this card. I love that it's prism. I love the kind of white sparkle looking, uh, design to it. And I love that it's gold instead of white. Um, well, that he's wearing the sun's Jersey. Uh, all right. This is a cool card. I've talked about this one before. I own gosh, five or six copies of this card. Now, now this looks up here. It appears to be just like a regular old cracked ice Steph Curry card. Um, and there are thousands of that potentially tens of thousands of that particular card but this what makes this one unique is it has steve nash as a misprint on the back uh some of the sheets got all mixed up when panini was printing these and they put my two favorite basketball players on the same card which is pretty damn cool so um i would love to get one of those that looks super pristine and then get to get it graded as a gem in 10 uh, psa will not grade these cards actually there you go i Picked up more than one. Actually, I might have actually uh, picked up three. There you go. Um, PSA won't grade these because it's a factory error card, which is really annoying. Uh, BGS will grade them. Uh, so I got a batch of those. Last, getting towards the end of there, the basketball part of this sh shipment. So a couple of Steph Curry splash cards. I mean, Steph Curry is known for his three-pointers. So splash is, you know, like a swish. Uh, he and Clay Thompson are known as the Splash Brothers. So... Yeah, had to pick up those cards. I'm going to look them over. If they're grade worthy, I might send them in. If not, just cool cards to have. Another one of those Curry Nash cards. And that's it before we get into golf. So that's it for basketball. Uh, check out the Funneling Cardboard 
podcast. If you like golf and if that's what you're here for, there's a little sneak peek. Colin Morikawa Cosmic. And that one's going to be a bigger episode because I got a lot of golf to talk about. Thanks, guys.